Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now, I've done lots of videos about Bluetooth 5 in the little last while because there's been so much confusion about the capabilities of Bluetooth 5. And one of the problems I had is I couldn't get the Galaxy S8 to work with Bluetooth 5. But thanks to the people from Nordic Semiconductors, I now managed to get the Nordic Semiconductors Bluetooth 5 development board working with a Galaxy S8. So if you wanna know how I did it and what I found out, please let me explain. Now, if you remember, the situation was this. There is no support in Android at the moment for Bluetooth 5. So therefore, it's not possible to write an Android application using an Android SDK to start making a Bluetooth 5 connection to another device. Now, there's no SDK from Samsung either. So really, at that point, and I made my last video about this, I thought, that's it, there's no Bluetooth 5 support at all. Well, there is, but there's a trick. Normally, you would take your Android device and it would act as the central device and it would connect to a peripheral, normally like, you know, like a Fitbit or something like that. This would be the main and this would be the peripheral. Now, actually, you can't do that with the Galaxy S8 because there is no API. But what the people from Nordic Semiconductors point out to me is if you start with the development board as the master and connect to the S8 as a peripheral, then actually the S8 recognizes the incoming Bluetooth 5 connection and will establish that connection and the two will start to speak. In fact, there is actually also another trick. You can actually start with the Galaxy S8, write your app, and you can connect using Bluetooth 4, and then the other device can say back to this one, hey, do you support Bluetooth 5? Can we upgrade this link to a Bluetooth 5 connection? So again, you can't do it from the Galaxy S8, but the other device can kind of suggest that we upgrade the connection to negotiate is the proper word to a Bluetooth 5 connection, and then you get a Bluetooth 5 connection working. So what I've done is I've taken the S8 and I've taken the development board and I've done some testing indoors only to see about the speed and the range of Bluetooth 5. Now I've done three tests. The first test, the two devices are literally next to each other, just a few centimeters apart. Then I move the device out into the hallway, away from my main office. It's about five meters and it has to go through one wall. And then after that, I move it across the hallway into another room, which is about 11 meters away, and it has to go through two rooms. And at each place, I've tested the speed. So let's take a look at those speed numbers. Okay, so first of all, when they are next to each other, I managed to get one megabit a second. Now that's slightly less than what I was getting when I was using two development boards uh, side by side. However, that is obviously a significant uh, throughput, one megabit a second. Remember this is over Bluetooth 5, which is Bluetooth low energy, not Bluetooth classic, like we use for the speakers and for audio streaming of the headsets. This is Bluetooth low energy, the kind of stuff you use when you're talking to a Fitbit or a smartwatch. So one megabit a second when they were next to each other. Now that would be good enough for audio streaming, audio over Bluetooth low energy when we finally get that uh, standard into the Bluetooth uh, specification. Now my second test, which was five meters away and through one wall, I managed to get 915 kilobits per second. So that's 0.9 megabits a second. So not much of a drop there in the uh, speed. And again, that would be absolutely fine for audio streaming over Bluetooth Low Energy when that comes out. And then my final test was two rooms away, across the hallway, into another room, two walls, uh, 11 meters away. And once I started to get further away now, the speed here dropped to 460 kilobits a second. Now that drop is quite significant. 460 kilobits a second is kind of really on the edge of what we could use for audio streaming. So what we're finding here is that because of the advantages of Bluetooth 5, the extra speed, we're actually able to do uh, a, a high enough throughput for audio, even when you're through two walls and when you're about 10, 11 meters away. I then tried a fourth test actually further away than that and I couldn't get the connection to work. So this seems to be kind of the limit. Now in my house, of course, I've got different types of walls than you've got in your house. I've got wooden walls, rock wall walls. Uh, if you've got concrete walls or brick walls or you've got ironwork in your walls, it's all gonna change how the distances work. But for me, when we get Bluetooth low energy 
audio streaming over Bluetooth low energy, this is going to work at least to a distance of 10, 11, 12, 13 meters. Now, remember, don't get confused. This four times range thing that people have been talking about for Bluetooth 5 only applies to a very special mode that's inside Bluetooth 5, which is very low uh, bandwidth, only 109, 120, something like that, kilobits per second. Now, the most I got here was a thousand kilobits a second so it's 10 times less on this long distance speed long distance long distance setting so that isn't going to be any good for for streaming audio but in terms of what we do today with our headsets and with our speakers bluetooth low energy using audio over bluetooth low energy could become a reality and it will work I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority and I hope you've enjoyed all these Bluetooth 5 videos that I've done. So I'm really happy I actually managed to get Bluetooth 5 working over the uh, Samsung S8 to the Nordic uh, Semiconductors test board. It does work and I am getting uh, a megabit a second when uh, using them in very close range. Which I've... Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. Please hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification whenever we release a new video. And last but not least, do go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.